Hi guys, welcome back. This is uh, day two of the um, the Merlin and Hen Harrier stakeout. Um, I'm here, it's about half past nine, and um, currently I'm set up in a little different location at the moment because of the position of the sun. Um, and now I'm basically shooting right into it. So I'm just gonna quick sort of intro vlog from here, and then I'm gonna head off um, in the ghillie suit into the, um, into the willow, I think, in the willow scrub. And as that sun comes round, Hopefully later on it will cast this lovely golden glow right across this um, lovely expanse of uh, heath and sort of bog grass. And hopefully I've been, you know, in some luck really. Yesterday I saw two male merlins just as the light was going. It was fantastic. Saw one on a post. Got some very, very distant video um, of the, the merlin on the post feeding. And it's beautiful to see. I mean, it was so far off, but you could just see that lovely bluey, uh, gun metal back on it really really nice and I'd love to get a decent shot of a merlin I mean I've, I've, I've got some great shots of a female merlin um, got them last year but uh, but really never really a male so uh, that would be great and you know kind of as I said yesterday uh, in the previous vlog that you know there's the short-eared owl there's the hen harrier there's the marsh harrier and there's, there's the merlins that are around so and there's res resident kestrel and buzzard so you know i'd hope to think something's going to turn up today i'm here all day till about four o'clock um but i'm going to head off now get suited and booted and um head off hide away because that sun's right at me and it's going to do no good for the for the pictures or video so um leave the landy here and uh, come back to this spot a bit later on i'll catch you all later So I'm currently now out of the uh, Land Rover and I've just decided to come out along a, a very boggy ditch and I've got a, behind me there, I've got a new ghillie blanket from Dragapan which I'm going to try today. Um, the sun at the moment is really really bright so it's right in on the Land Rover so it's no good for any pictures so I've decided just to go out on foot a bit, set up for a few hours and um, see if I can get any luck there. Um, Obviously the Merlins do use this post along here and so does the Harrier so um, it's quite a nice little gully going up here and hopefully something will pull along there and we can pick up some shots on the way through. Uh, no guarantees obviously and then head back for some, um, some lunch. Um, I've got some uh, nice bit of boil in a bag stuff for lunch so we're going to cook that up and have a brew and then probably settle in the Land Rover for the rest of the, uh, for the, rest of the day as that sun swings around. But uh, yeah, you are going to try this for a few hours, see what happens, and hopefully we'll have a bit of luck. So I've just seen a uh, ringtail hen harrier. Absolutely superb. Just over the grass here, just hunting. Um, didn't even know there was one around, to be honest. Um, looking for the male, and uh, yet the females turned up and done a bit of hunting. Got some quite distant shots, no video, but absolutely fantastic. What a surprise. One thing about wildlife photography is you never know what's going to turn up. I mean, that is fantastic. Oh, I am chuffed a bit. So, so far this morning, it's not been too bad at all, really. Um, seen the uh, Hen Harrier go through, and I've seen the Merlin on the airfield. So, uh, really, really good uh, to see. Um, no great shots, unfortunately, so far, and no real good video. So, um, going to have another crack this afternoon. I mean, I was hoping, you know, to get a few sightings this morning but it's never very good at that time really it's more later on in the afternoon before it gets dark as the sun is setting so i'm really hoping gonna have some um can have some scran now i tuck into some bean pasta and uh, got myself a nice brew now have that and then get the kit sorted get everything ready and then head off um up to the far corner that sun's moved around quite a bit now so i'm hoping to get um get some more sightings maybe and uh, might be in for some luck, but uh, just going to tuck in now, enjoy, and uh, then back to it. That's typical. I've just seen a kestrel, literally, 
sitting on a post. As soon as I move, it'll go. <laughs> yep, it's gone. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so I've now moved location once again. I am now down where I was first thing this morning. The light is now shifted round, um, which is quite nice. Gone right round basically to the side lighting now. So I've got a nice cast of light coming right across the uh, bog grass and heath here. It's still a little bit too much. It needs to shift around another half hour or so. Um, but um, yeah, it's great just to be back in this position. So I'm really, really close here to the, um, to the fence posts where the Merlins were landing yesterday. Um, there's no guarantee they're going to land here today. Um, you know, I've been here since 10 o'clock, so we've been here sort of four and a half hours so far. Um, I'm hoping as the light tends to fade, um, about sort of half two, three, up to about half four, should be like the golden time really, when the birds should start to come through before they go to roost. Um, hence there's no guarantees, you know, they, you know, I've been here now, this is my third day. And, um, you know, I could be here a week and see nothing again, but you know, it's all about um, just getting out there and, and, and trying really and learning the habits. I mean, these birds are creatures of habit, so you know, generally they will come into the same area to go to roost and have a little hunt before they um, before they uh, get their heads down. So, you know, it's uh, there's a chance. And it's, the wind's dropped a little bit now, so that's quite nice and it's quite sheltered in here. So I'm hoping might get to see some activity fairly soon, fingers crossed. Oh my God, it's, it's just happened again. I can't believe it. I've just had a Kestrel land on my roof bar on my Land Rover, unbelievable. It's happened to me twice before with a Merlin and uh, I've just had it land on the roof. I, can, I, could, I could hear it land. Um, just like chinking on the bars, it's gone off now. But it's a great position here. There's, there's not really an awful lot of places it to perch on and the Land Rover is perfect. And there's nothing I could have done to get a shot. I mean, of course, my sunroof's not open. So it was up there and the roof bar's just back there and it just landed on the back end. Um, I put the GoPro up through the crack in the sunroof if it was open. I might be able to get a little bit of a shot, but uh, yeah, no such luck. What a shame. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm happy though it's landed on the vehicle because at least it knows the vehicle's not a danger and it obviously hasn't spotted me, but uh, yeah, <sighs> nice experience. Shame it wasn't on one of the posts. So we currently have a buzzard. Um, buzzard's just come in and uh, landed on a post and um, you can just see the top of the post and the, and the grass is right in the way in the front. It's got quite a nice diffused look to it. Um, so the buzzard was getting mobbed by two carrying crows and then the buzzard went in to land on the post it stayed there and they dive bombed it a bit but i missed the dive bomb in a bit but but i certainly got a nice bit of uh, footage and a little shot of the buzzard on the uh, on the post so that is absolutely fantastic um i'm just hoping this next hour is going to be pretty good um and i've just seen a kestrel go over the top of um the buzzard and the crows so you know that's uh that's already really good sign really that things are starting to pick up just before they go to roost so yeah stay positive so i said a moment ago um about the the merlin um using the fence posts to hunt from merlins generally if they're perching anywhere they generally perch quite low to the ground and um they kind of feed on pipits skylarks um snipe things like that they will take uh, certainly an aerial predator, but um, also will take stuff on the ground and, and obviously large um, you know, insects and stuff like that. They're a bit of opportunists as well. But if I do get a shot today, you know, on these posts, and granted it's, you know, it, it's a barbed wire fence and the post, it's not the most glamorous of shots, but to be honest, I just want to get a shot of a male Merlin uh, on a post, wherever. It doesn't really bother me today, to be perfectly honest. You know, I just want to get a shot of one really and maybe a little bit of video of it hunting, but it's so difficult. Um, with this setup today, I've obviously, I've been on the tripod the day before with the external screen, which was great. And I find that a lot easier, but I think being in a vehicle like this concealed a little bit better with a little bit of netting on. 
will probably help me out quite a bit because I'm fairly close to the fence. There's a there's a there's a good possibility that the um the birds won't come in. But also if I'm inside the vehicle and fairly quiet then there's there's every chance that they will come in. Um, I just saw something there. So my current view at the moment is this. So I'm kind of behind me here. I've got a water tank. And uh, that's kind of concealing me a little bit from that way because it's obviously there's stuff in the way, so it's kind of it might just ignore me. But um, who knows? We'll have to see. So I've currently set my um, focus points and I've got you know 61 points to use, but I've currently got the single single spot, centre spot selected. And that's really, really good for birds in flight. Um, because the Merlin is really small, a single focus point is good. And obviously when it lands on that post as well, to get a single focus point is probably better than a sing single point in the middle and force around. Because sometimes it will start to hunt a little bit in the foreground, um, you know, in the, in the background too. So that single focus point gets it right on the bird. Um, but for bigger birds in flight, you know, you can use center point with four surround or go for the full nine with center point. You know, it, it all depends on what your camera manufacturer has. But um, nine times out of ten, birds in flight, single focus points, really, really good. And I often use that probably quite a lot, depending on the size of bird. And I'd say for larger birds, I always use really the uh, center spot with four surround which is a really, really good hit rate on that. Sometimes you get some soft images, some out of focus, but you'll, you'll definitely nail a couple. I think I've just seen something go across there. Oh, Merlins are so quick. I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me, but I just saw something go across the fence line there. Can't be sure. Anyway, back to it. So it's really getting to that time now where things are starting to pick up. In the last 10 minutes, I've seen a kestrel, I've seen a buzzard, two ravens, three carrion crows, two herons, and a snipe's just flown past. So, you know, literally it's now 20 to three, so it gets dark at five. So things are just starting to move now. Um, I'm really hoping to get to see one. You know, if I don't get the photograph, you know, that's not, the be all and end all really i'd love one don't get me wrong but it's more important to to show you guys something you know some video or some some images but uh you know the experience of being out here in nature is great but uh you know great to show you some shots really but you know i'll uh i'll persevere for sure and hope we'll get um we'll get to see a sighting i mean a merlin is a bird that's really scarce and i mentioned it loads of times before but it is a magical bird you know, it's up there for me with hen harrier. I absolutely love them. They're so small, our smallest European falcon, and so quick and agile. And the male is just gorgeous. You know, it really is. I would love to get a great shot of one. It doesn't matter if it's on a post, a barbed wire fence, whatever. I just want to, you know, get a decent shot of one. So I probably made my uh, job quite hard, but. Uh, that's what it's all about, getting out there, trying your luck, trying your hardest. Could take me ages, you know, to get to get actually a decent shot, but uh, gonna keep trying. That's what it's all about. So I've just seen at the minute a big commotion of crows, and sometimes that's a good indicator of, of bird of prey nearby. Because so sometimes the crows mob the birds of prey, and that's sometimes a bit of an indicator there that. Uh, that there's something there. That light needs to swing around a little bit more, but it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. We're just getting to that completely beautiful golden hour now. And uh, I've just had two herons go right over the uh, landy, making a right noise, scare the life out of me. Um, and one peeled off one way and one peeled off another. But uh, the light is fantastic, it really is. It's just that last 20, 25 minutes now. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see it through the scrim net in there, but um, oh man, it's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. All we need now is a bird of prey. And I'll 
be a happy man. It's one of those days you just think you're going to see one, but oh, there's no guarantees at all. I've literally got 25 minutes and I've got to go. It's like the absolute cutoff. I've got to go and pick my son up from nursery. Um, but I'm just hoping I might get a little glimpse of something. If not, it's back tomorrow. Try again. Um, hopefully I have some success some more success. I mean, I've had a few things in the bag today, which is good, but I kind of wanted to give you a bit more of uh, certainly a closer, more detailed shot and a bit more quality video, but at um, the moment it's all a bit distant. Anyway, less vlogging back to it, I think, in case I miss something. So I've just had male hen harrier through. Unbelievable, absolutely over the moon. Um, it wasn't the best video ever, but uh, to see it coming through was just fantastic. It was a little bit erratic, um, but yeah, I'm made up with that. That is just absolutely superb. A lovely way to top the day off really, you know, spending six and a half hours out and only actually getting about half an hour's worth, you know, is, is just, great way to finish um, this is what I've got so far um, so if you can see here so if we've got okay here we go there it is if you can see on the screen difficult to see but there you go there is the hen harrier absolutely fantastic I am made up with that that's a great way to finish Happy days to see it, massive smile on my face. What a bird, what an absolute cracking bird. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you all next time.